Squarespace just released a brand new feature. We can now upload custom fonts directly to the fonts panel and then easily apply them to our headings or paragraphs or buttons or whatever element on the site directly through the editor without having to touch the custom CSS. So I wanna go over that new feature with you and then talk about when custom CSS still is the best option for custom fonts. So I wanna cover first the scenario where uploading the custom font through the custom CSS window still is the best option. So this is the old method of doing it. So before what we would do is we would upload the custom font to the custom files in the custom CSS window. And then once we did that, we could give it a font family name, add it to the URL as the source, and then we can target an element and give it the font family. And in this case, I'm targeting H4 headings that are bold. And so you can see here, then my custom font is applied to that H4 bolded element. So even going forward with this new feature, this is the best way to do it when you're targeting a custom font for like a specific element. But this new feature that I'm gonna cover right now is the best way to do it if you need to change like all of the headings or all of the paragraphs on your site. So let's go jump into the site styles and I'm gonna to go to the fonts panel. So let's say I wanted to change the, uh, add a custom font to my headings. So I'll come into my headings and I'll click this new upload button and it shows you all of the different file formats that it accepts for the fonts. We'll click this plus icon and then we can upload our custom font. And right now for this custom font, it's like this, you know, script kind of cursive looking font. So it only comes in one font weight, but you could upload multiple different font weights for your custom font, and then they would all be available to you through the editor. So now we have our uploaded font as an option, and I can just click this, and now any element that is assigned a heading font family will automatically get my custom font. So it's so easy now to apply custom fonts to you know all of a certain type of element across our site. So we could do the same thing for paragraphs, you know, we could do the same thing, you know, even in here for like the site title or the mobile title, the site navigation, um, I could just flip this to heading and now it's going to get that heading font as well. So this is the best way moving forward is to use this new feature if you want to change a bunch of elements on the site, but I think using the custom CSS is still the best way moving forward if you only want to give a custom font to like a specific element. So if you're using it as sort of like an accent, then use the custom CSS method. If you're changing all of the fonts across your site, then it's better to use this new feature. All right, hopefully that was helpful and clears things up about the best way moving forward for loading custom fonts to your site. If you found this helpful, please let me know in the comments below and consider subscribing to the channel for more Squarespace customization content like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.